Hey, and welcome to my channel. I'm Julie, and in today's video, I am going to be taking part in the Look for Less challenge that is hosted by Yami from the Latina Next Door and Lindsay from the Domer Home. Now, in this challenge, we are to take a high-end decor piece and we are to recreate it for less. So in today's video, I'm going to be remaking this Pier 1 wall decor. And I'm going to be using free and Dollar Tree items to make it. Now I will have a link to the playlist in the description below, so make sure you go check that out after you're done watching my video. Now let's get to the DIY. So for this project, you're going to need six of these frames. I picked these up from the Dollar Tree. You're also going to need to print out some of these free fern prints that I got from a blog, and I will link that in the description. Some glue and some popsicle sticks. The first step is just to disassemble the frames, cut out the fern print, and place it in the frame, and then reassemble the frames. For the second step, I just laid out the different frames and figured out the way I wanted it to look and then turned them all upside down so that I can glue them together. Now for the gluing, I did use this Gorilla Glue because it's going to keep it really secured, but it takes a little while to dry, so I also used hot glue in order to get it to stick immediately.
decided to scrape off any excess glue that was seeping out between the frames so that I could get a nice flat surface because I'm going to be gluing the popsicle sticks for extra support. Now the popsicle sticks just add a little extra support to the back to keep the frames together. Now because this is kind of a smaller project, I didn't feel the need to put a huge board uh, on the back, but if this was any bigger, I probably would have supported it with a nice piece of some kind of thick cardboard or something that covers the entire back. I just took a little bit of vinegar and also a um, like an exacto knife blade to clean out any glue that was seeping through the front of the frame. several different ways to hang this. I decided to use the command velcro tabs. Here is the finished product. I have it hanging in our guest bathroom. It only cost me $6 to make compared to the Pier 1 piece that was $49. I love how it turned out, and if you did too, please give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time.